Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl Tina. I hope you guys are doing good today. So as most of you guys know, I am out here in LA, honey. Yes, I'm on vacation. And you guys saw me post a picture earlier with the beautiful Tasha K. We are out here, we're getting ready to go to VidCon. I got my little VidCon bracelet on. So I cannot wait to meet a lot of you guys who are going to be at VidCon tomorrow. But anyways, I still want to come on here and spill some tea for y'all, okay? So I know a lot of y'all have been wanting a lot of updates concerning the whole XXX situation. So if you guys do not know, they had a memorial service for him yesterday in LA on Melrose and it went crazy okay it was off the damn chain kids were piling on top of cars it turned into a mini riot and this was not only just in LA it also happened in NYC as well Folks are going crazy behind this young man's death. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these videos. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Tonight with breaking news in the Fairfax District. Hundreds of people taking over Melrose Avenue tonight, shutting it down so they can hold a memorial service for a rapper shot dead just yesterday. And this is a live shot from Sky 9 right now. The LAPD has declared an unlawful assembly and told everyone to clear the streets. We are live both in the air and on the ground. 
Let's begin tonight with KCAL Live's Jeff Nguyen. Jeff. Well, Susie and Jeff, you mentioned that unlawful assembly. Let me show you the uh, LAPD out here right now. They've got their gear on and down the street. You can see there are still a few hundred people in the middle of uh, Melrose near Sierra Bonita. Let's go ahead and show you some aerials from earlier where hundreds of people had gathered for this memorial for the rapper XXX Tentacion, who was uh, shot and killed uh, just yesterday. Uh, let's go ahead and show you some pictures of him. The uh, shooting happened in Miami as he was leaving a motorsports store. Uh, we spoke to a number of kids out here. Most of them seem like they're from high school, and they say that his music really resonates with them because of a number of issues such as suicide side and depression. Let's uh, listen to one of the young people who was here for that memorial that spontaneously happened on Melrose earlier. He's a very inspirational person to me and his music really helped me through like really tough times in my life. He talks about a lot of real problems and problems he's going through as well that I can relate to and I think that's why I like his music brings me comfort and it makes me feel more close to him so Now, back here live, you can see some of the young people walking away. You know, that young lady in the soundbite talked about some of the problems that he was going through. One of the problems that he was going through was uh, domestic abuse. He was facing criminal charges for that. Uh, the young lady says that she's fully aware of that. However, she uh, says that she is separating those uh, two issues. Uh, earlier, there were just hundreds of people here on Melrose, and the LAPD deployed a number of uh, beanbag rounds, and a lot of these kids just uh, started to take off. Now, I should also tell you that a number of them were we're also uh, throwing water bottles at the police officers as well. Uh, one of my colleagues out here even spotted a young man who was standing on top of a building and he jumped from the roof and landed on a pedestrian who uh, was just walking along and had no idea that people were jumping off the roof and that young lady was uh, hurt. Uh, she was taken away by paramedics. So uh, even though this is a memorial for a dead rapper, we can tell you that this is a serious matter because when you have hundreds of people clogging up the street like this uh, with all of the energy that's uh, going on with uh, some of these kids, uh, LAPD had to come in and right now they are holding this line. They have been basically pushing all of these kids uh, from about Melbourne Melrose and Fairfax towards the uh, La Brea area, if uh, you know this area. All right, so you guys just saw that really disturbing footage. So it was a mess out here in LA yesterday. So now on top of that, we all know his ex-girlfriend. Her name is Geneva Ayales, and basically she's the one who initially filed charges on Triple X and said that he beat her while she was supposedly pregnant. It's been all types of stuff, and a lot of fans have been coming at her. People assume that she'd be happy that he was dead, and she took to social media to basically dead the rumors, no pun intended, to let folks know that she's not celebrating his death and that, in fact, she's very hurt by his death. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what she wrote on social media. Go ahead and check this out. So she goes on to say, I know y'all don't fuck with me, but this isn't about me. Just stop tagging me in disrespectful threads and arguments. I honestly don't care for any of the hype. I lost somebody close to me. Leave me alone. Then she goes on to say, it's disgusting that people are speaking for me. I don't care if nobody cared about me however many months ago. I didn't lose my life. He did. It's permanent. I'm still here. Like, how do you think that makes me feel? Everyone expected me to be relieved or happy. No, I'm broken. So that's what she said on social media. So yesterday she decided to go to the memorial out there in LA. And so she went to the memorial and she put like something down at the memorial. She put down a globe. She had a sign and everything else. And then what happened is that a bunch of his fans basically went off on her and they ended up burning the memorial, okay? And she was just simply devastated behind all this. This entire situation is crazy. Go ahead and check out this video. Yo, the fact that they burned my shit, bro, like, that's so fucking disrespectful. Like, how could you guys do that, bro? I don't care how many, how much you guys hate me. Like, why would you guys do that shit? <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw what Geneva had to say. And of course, she's really hurt. She's really heartbroken. But now, if that's not crazy enough, 
Do you know that this girl literally got into a fight at the memorial? She found one of the girls who burnt down what she left for XXX, and then she proceeded to whoop the girl's ass, okay? So Geneva is somewhat ratchet her damn self. Go ahead and check this out. Go ahead, bitch. Go ahead, bitch. Go ahead, bitch. Go ahead, bitch. damn teacup okay so i had to settle for a water bottle anyways y'all just seen that damn fight you know what i'm saying this don't make no damn sense what i'm hearing i'm hearing a lot of different things on social media i'm hearing that she supposedly retracted the whole thing that he did not supposedly beat her and then there's also rumors being spread stating that she was never pregnant and that supposedly you know doctor statements were released saying that she was not pregnant by him that she was never pregnant during that situation so i don't know how much of that is true or if that's just some of his fans spreading rumors i'm not sure but that's what's floating around social media is that he did not beat her and she was not pregnant so I don't know, but I do find it really disturbing that her Instagram handle is liar. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to take her seriously when she's out here fighting, being ratchet, and, you know, calling herself liar on Instagram. And my thing is, if you want your peace, if you don't want to be bothered, then stop posting everything onto social media. Stop taking to your Snapchat. Stop taking to Instagram. Stop letting the world know what you're doing. Had she not posted that she was leaving something at his memorial and posted what it was, the fans would have not known anything. So my personal opinion, because tensions are super high right now, this young woman needs to be careful, okay? Because a lot of his fans are angry and they're really mad at her because they feel like she, you know, put him in a bad light with the accusations and everything else. As you guys all know, I wasn't there. Y'all weren't there. Okay, there's three sides to every story. His side, her side, and the truth. We don't know what happened, okay? But my thing is for her safety, I think she needs to lay low off of social media. She needs to stop posting her every move. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this is about XXX. And if you guys weren't together, then she needs to just, you know, pay her respects. But just keep everything on the low. Because in a minute, somebody might do something to harm this girl. The fact that she's out here fighting his fans and everything else, that's not a good look. Now, I will... Now, I do want to say this. Before X died, he did say that he forgave her, and he did say that they were back on speaking terms. Of course, they weren't dating or anything like that, but it seems like they made some type of peace with each other. So if XXX, the person who she's accusing of abusing her, made peace with her, honey, I'm not about to sit here and lose no sleep. I'm not about to sit here and, you know, run after this girl and attack her on social media. It's not needed. It's just way too much wasted energy. I understand tensions are high. I understand people are upset. You know, there's all types of accusations going on with you know who did it you know so it's just really getting crazy on social media so in my personal opinion i really feel like at the end of the day people need to let this young man rest in peace and they really need to take heed and take a lesson from his death and they also need to realize that he left a positive message at the end of the day and folks need to focus on that i'm just so tired of everybody you know showing out you know rioting turning over cars and acting crazy now that this young man is dead why didn't a lot of these people show him the same amount of love in life as they did in death? Even with some of these celebrities. I've never heard them tweet anything about him, really even acknowledge him. But now all of a sudden he was an inspiration. All these celebrities are sending all these well wishes and, you know, we're going to miss him. He was so inspirational. He was so talented. Give people their roses while they're here. That is one thing I've always preached on this channel. Don't be on some, you know what I'm saying, reflection type shit. Give people their roses, their just due, their credit. Show them love while they're here. You know what I'm saying? That's when it really matters. Not after they're dead and gone and they can't, you know, speak back to you or truly acknowledge it. So in my personal opinion, I think that's what a lot of people should take from this death is that folks need to give people their props, praises, and roses while they're here to smell them. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire sad situation concerning XXX and folk going crazy, riding, and just, you know, being off the chain. Do 
doing these little memorial services that different fans were holding for him. And then how do you guys feel about his ex-girlfriend, Geneva, you know, not only constantly coming out to social media to talk about the situation, but then getting into a fight at the memorial service with one of his fans. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.